together, just so we would start off at one All place. Right, so Janie having her first gelato. Outside. This is uh, overlooking the ocean. We're outside as much as possible. The old town of Monterosso is connected by a tunnel to the new town. And there's usually musicians, something going on there. This is the local chef, Chuck. Everybody remembers him. And sometimes there'd be dances in the street and he'd be dancing all night long till one in the morning. That was a pumpkin soup. Zupa. Is that a little blur? Her dishes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're starting up the trail. So around the mountain top. <laughs> The music is perfect. So we're looking back at Monte Rosso. How many miles did you walk? We don't know the miles, but it was, if you kept walking, 90 minutes. If you took the train, four minutes. <laughs> and we took a long time because we'd stop and rest, because we know we're not like major hikers pushing it. And they always there's always some place to shop along the way. <laughs> there was a, see there, we walked through vineyards. And you just enjoy the views. There are a lot of steps. But we take it easy. But there's usually some artist selling his or her wares along the way, which gives us a break. That's one of the wines produced there. They, they had that out on the little stoop in the vineyard. Can you just help yourself? Lenore, <laughs> no. did, did you tell them that the Cinque Terre is actually a national oh, yeah. park? No, it's um, yeah, it's a national park, organic, biologico, uh, world heritage site, the five villages, and the water is preserved. It's very beautiful and clear, like the Caribbean, really. turquoise water. So here you can see some of the trail. It looks scary there, but I don't remember it being any being scary. Do any of you? No. Some some Italian guy in these little short. Skivvies, little trunks, pipe. Speedo. Speedo took our picture. That's how he was hiking. Here we go, now shopping. We're happy. Bracelets. Deborah has one on. Sentiero, number two, is the tra is, means trail. We're going from Monteroso to Vernazza, now the second town down. And these are just incredible views. And we stop a lot, take pictures. So there's Vernazza, you see where you're going. That's the next town over. Is Vernazza one of the ones that was bad? Yeah, Vernazza had a uh, landslide a year and a half ago. Uh, mostly recovered, but this, yeah, the whole bay was just full of mud and cars and rocks. So you come off the trail and you come into their houses. Or, you know, Buildings, narrow paths. I know the colors, and they just have plants. They just make it look beautiful. This is a Renatza, and then this is just a cove where Lisa grapes. <laughs> this cove in Renatza, Rick Steves calls the most magical piazza in all of Europe. And you just lay on the wall there, sit, and there are artists drawing and people taking photos and eat gelato. <laughs> this local is making baskets, leaving a basket. Do you know what the age of those towns is? Wow. Um, I think 13th 
1300s, 1400s, they were people that were up in the mountains and then they came down to the shore. Colin, Katie. Um, yeah, Tiramisu. so much in nature and there was also the Chiquitere is about the beauty of the land and the villages and to hike and swim some of us swam every day and others didn't care to swim so you could choose how you wanted to do it you could be more outdoorsy and more in shops or more in churches you had plenty of time to go follow your own special interests and you know, use your time as you wanted to. So that was really great. You don't you don't all get herded around together. There's a tremendous amount of freedom to use the time as you want, along with you know the the hiking trails and stuff. But yeah, it's just to to have that much delicious food in, in such a short amount of time. I you know it just really heightens your appreciation, and to see that much exquisite beauty of of you know really the water. When you were hiking like that, you just your breath was just taken away again and again. And again. Never tore, you couldn't get used to it. You know the color of the water, and then to swim in that water was like it. You know, for me, so much better than the Caribbean or anything. There was something so magical about it. And you'll see, there's just so much more beautiful outdoor stuff. And and then in Luca, more churches and everything too. But. It really is transformative. Just have that kind of beauty. I mean, maybe because living in Iowa. <laughs> but really, the beauty is so over the top. You just get a, a love of life, a love of life, and you see more beauty everywhere. Thanks. 
So we took a ferry, which was just, again, a few minutes, but it was the fifth town down, Rio Maggiore. And we're going to walk the Via, uh, Via della Boy, which is the path of love. And we go from Rio Maggiore, which is right here. You get off and you'd see this, and have gelato, <laughs> take some pictures. People are, are, could swim in there also. But go back one, go back to that. The, the, you see the, the rocks, how they're striated like yeah. that? It's just incredible. And when you're on the ferry, you get to see the land of Italy in a, different, in a whole different way. And more shopping. And churches, you know, you can go in. We never do this in the U.S. You can light a candle. Flames are burning all the time throughout these churches. And they're very, you know, old, old churches from, I think some of these 1200 A.D. That one was. That was in Rio Maggiore. So now we're to the beginning of the path, the Via della Morte. And it's just incredible beauty, breathtaking, really. And it's a simple path. It's, they say that baby carriages and little chairs can go on this. <clears throat> yeah, people, you can take your locks. Jay and I did this one. I brought Jay here after the ladies left. And you lock in your love. So there's locks everywhere. I, I didn't put that many pictures of that, but any kind of padlock. So we did that, and you know, it took us a long time to move because we took so many pictures. You throw it? Oh, you throw away the key. Right? Lock in your lab, you throw the key into the water. And there's thousands of them. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah. You know how it's all along. There's like this wire braiding kind of like a net. Keep the rocks from sliding down on your head. Yes. And um, so people put the locks on. People put locks everywhere. So on that netting, it's fun. And this is the Via del Amore from the boat, the covering. Of